morning. Um, it's Saturday morning and we are headed to Goodwill. So, um, uh, I don't know if Hill froze over or what, but our Goodwill is having a 50% off sale today, which they haven't done 50% off in since COVID, so 2020. They've done 25% off. They don't even do like the colors, you know, half off or anything colors here anymore either. Don't know why. Anyway, so we're headed there to see what we can find. Our Goodwill opens at 9. It's 9.05, so we'll get there pretty much shortly after they open. Maybe there'll still be a cart left. Yeah, maybe we'll be able to get a shopping cart. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're going to hit a couple of them. The one we're headed to right now is probably one of the biggest in Tulsa. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll find some good stuff. Okay, well, here we are. And everyone in Tulsa beat us here. I really didn't think it would be this crowded. But it's crowded. Like, it's crowded. <laughs> so, chances of us getting a shopping cart are zero. Absolutely zero. So, uh, anyway, wish us luck. Out alive. Barely. Regina's got a whole bag of goodness there. I got two, two things, and I got two lamps in the car already. So, not much for me. But my stuff wasn't on sale anyway. So, we're gonna go to the next one. Goodwill an hour late. They normally open at nine, but evidently today, because of the sale, they opened at eight, which is why all those people were there when we got there. Um, then we went to Goodwill in Big Speed, and I have found some good stuff. Tom's not having, yeah, uh, mine's all over he's having a decent yeah, we'll day, see. but he's spending a lot of money on, on, We'll see. Small, not small items, a couple items, but hopefully with hopefully a big return. Hopefully with a big return. Home runs. So, um, yeah, now we're headed to the Goodwill on Southwest Boulevard, which is like the biggest one here in Tulsa. It'll be interesting to see what that one's like. Yeah, we'll see what it's like. It's probably going to be a, a little heavy? crazy. I think got a heavy in it. Who knows what's left. Uh, so, we'll see how that goes.
Potatoes that I boiled. Yeah. And I'm just going to put them up and get a crispy layer on them. What's over here? I'm going to make a lemon rosemary sauce. Okay. And then what's this going to be? Lemon rosemary sauce yeah. and chicken. <laughs> and corn on the cob. Corn on the cob? That's the plan. We'll Can't see. Wait. We'll see. Shallots. Those ones. That's great. Right. The sauce. Mm -hmm. Chicken stock. Cooking stock. Chicken stock. Squishy potatoes. What's that going to do? Is that the flavor? It's just going to get brown. Oh, brown. Okay. Crispy. Brown, crispy. and rosemary and the chicken breast that I cut off of a rotisserie chicken. Just like the burger mm -hmm. sands. And uh, I'm just putting it in here to heat it up. Absorb some of the flavor of the sauce. It smells really good. Garlicky, lemony. What else in there? Basil? No. Thomas? Rosemary. Rosemary. Potatoes are good. In the air fryer. Oh, yeah. oh you need a foil. Very nice. So you just cover it up to let it. So the sauce doesn't evaporate. Oh, okay. You keep it. Yeah. Up with, what do you call this? Dinner. Dinner. That's what Regina does. I go, what's for dinner? She goes, food. And uh, so, anyway, we got the chicken that you saw, the boiled and skillet, what do you call that? Skillet fried potatoes, corn on the cob, leftover homemade bread I made the other night for mm -hmm. Valentine's Day, and some Chardonnay. Looks really good. Excited to taste it. Hey, it's Tom with the Funky Little Studio. Uh, I'm gonna show you kind of a haul of what I ended up with at the Saturday Goodwill uh, sourcing trip. Um, I usually do the knickknack, patty whack, chili pack, all that kind of stuff, brick a brack, those kind of things, and Regina does clothing. So the clothing was 50% off. Clothing was 50% off. Boots were half off. Shoes were normal price, and then the stuff I buy was normal price. Um, so let's go over what I ended up with. Re Regina's gonna have to do a haul video. Comment below, because she's, I did a little time lapse on some of the stuff when she was showing it to her mom, but we need a full, some sort of full haul video from Regina, it's been a while. So here's what I ended up with. I'm gonna go in no particular order, but um, this is some of the things that I ended up with on Saturday. Two, these were actually half price. These two new old stock Hanes pantyhose. Uh, I think I gave 49 cents a piece. They had a mark 99 cents. So I didn't realize they were half off, but I went ahead and picked those up. Those are listed. This nudie suit book, it's the Rodeo Taylor. I think his last name's Nudie Cone. I don't know, I can't remember what his last name is. Anyway, uh, that, I paid up for that. It was 15 bucks plus tax, but it's listed. There's comps that show it anywhere from 50 to 
150. Um, I got two of these Craftsman bandsaw blades. Um, paid up for those two, I guess, $4.99, so we'll see. I think that's what they were, $3.99 or $4.99. A Fitbit um, replacement uh, band, I think it's a dollar. An LED, the comps show it anywhere from eight, eight and up. I don't know, I just listed it, I don't know what I even listed it for. I just try to be somewhat competitive on my listings. Some of them are free shipping, some of them I do plus shipping. LED bulb, it was 99 cents, so plus tax, so I think it's eight or nine bucks. So no big money stuff. Um, brand new stock, um, Cyclops or trainer, for if you're riding a bike trainer, you watch this DVD with it while you're riding. So that was a dollar plus tax. Two of these vacuum bags, um, they fit a Eureka or a Victory. Those were a buck a piece, so those will sell. I think I listed them separately. Then um, this Olaf, like a drink cup holder. I don't know how you, I guess the lid comes off somehow to clean it. Anyway, they put it out on the cart. I'm like, I'm gonna go check that out. I didn't know what it was, but it's actually Disney Park. So they seem to have value. I need to get that listed. I don't think I listed it there. They want to list a bunch of this stuff. This Garmin Forerunner, uh, Forerunner 10, which is just a basic, GPS watch, but it's a factory refurbished and it's basically, I don't know that it's ever been, uh, looks like it's basically brand new refurbished. There's the yeah, refurbished unit, but um, plugged it in, it took a charge, it seems to be good. I think I gave eight bucks on that one. A dollar for this um, paper. I need it for my little log book that I log all my purchases in and when they sell it, when I sell them. This is interesting. I got two of these for four bucks a piece plus tax. It's old Corningware. Um, neither one of them had a lid. I'm going to see if I may be able to source a lid before I list them. They'll sell without the lid, but I think it'll bring more money if I can um, find a lid. This one's got some wear on the bottom and I think it's the older of the two. Um, I'm not totally sure. I need to look at it a little bit more, but it's still a one and a half quart casserole dish. And then this one's a little bit lighter. You can just feel it. And then it's got the marking here, which makes me think it's newer, but it's still vintage, I guess. But anyway, those were four bucks a piece. They were on the cart that hadn't been actually stocked on the shelf yet. This is a ball holder. It was $2 plus tax, $1.99 plus tax. It holds a football, like you mount this on the wall and just display your football or in your garage so you always know where your football is if you want to go play football. This is an item I picked up. Um, I can take it back, but I, it works, but it's got a switch issue. I think um, I think if I glue the little thing down, I think it'll work better, but uh, it does work. Um, coin counting or coin sorting machine. Um, it had good comps on eBay. I think I gave six bucks for it. Let's see. I may have already peeled the sticker. I have $5.99 plus tax. But with the E&M, I can take it back if I want, but I think I'm gonna keep it and just try to see if I can get it working. It might be kind of handy to have around the house. All right, I'm gonna turn this off a second and then show you the, now I can show you this one real quick. This is at the very first one we went to. I remember getting this. It was a kind of a waiting in line. The place was crazy. Um, limited edition sandals. So they're like golf sandals, 86 of 86. There's comps on eBay. Now, I can't find any in the last 90 days that have sold, but there's a couple that have listed uh, for 350 bucks. So here's what they look like. They're made by Reef. It's got a golf ball and two sandals. I think this is a bottle opener on the bottom of the sandals, and it's got these little spikes. I guess you can actually wear them golfing. I haven't even looked at the golf ball yet. Is it special or anything? Yeah, it's got a little marking on it, reef. So a special golf ball comes with it. And the two sandals, and they are basically, from what I can tell, brand new. So I don't know if these were a giveaway, somebody won these, but it's got that Augusta, um, the green jacket for your feet. So I'm gonna get those listed this week. I think those will. I may come in a little bit cheaper than the people that have them for 350. We'll see what happens. I paid up for them, but I think they'll sell. 
And then I'm gonna turn this off for a second and show you the piece de resistance. All right, you may have saw in the video, um, I have some pictures that kind of popped up of some lamps that I was unsure of. They had them marked up and um, in the end, I went ahead and bought them. I, I bought those first and just carried them out to the car. And they were kind of the talk of the checkout. Everybody was commenting on them. So haven't found any comps yet, but they can, I can tell they're old. So I'm gonna show those to you right quick now. Here they are. Here they are. It's the, I think, Marie Antoinette and, oh, is it? Somebody's got to comment. I think Regina told me, but I already forgot. Her spouse, is it King Philip or something? I don't know. Anyway, they light up, both of them work. It's got just these little flicker can candle bulbs in it. But I could tell that they're old just by looking at them and then just the bottom of them is, you know, you can just tell it's vintage. Uh, they've got a number 274, I think. I'm gonna do some more research, not just on eBay, just kind of Google, lens it some more and try to dig up some more information. Those I'm hoping are gonna bring some decent money. It may take a little bit for them to sell. They both work. I don't know if this is the correct bulb or if they're supposed to have a regular bulb and a little lampshade or maybe this is the way they are. But anyway, they had them marked up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I paid for them. $14.99 a piece. I was peeling the the sticker off underneath the $14.99 they were $5.99 so somebody had priced them at $5.99 and obviously somebody else said no 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 so they priced them up but I was willing to pay that so I've got 30 bucks plus tax in them and we'll see what they bring anyway that's it for now oh there was two pint glasses that I've already listed and put away um, a fat tire and a cigar city they were 99 cents a piece, but um, those are already listed and stuck in the storage. So that's what I ended up with. And we'll, thanks for watching uh, our little Saturday video. We're doing some shipping now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the video. Um, we've got, how many posh things do you have here? I have seven, but one I can't stand Oh. Six. Six posh. And then we also have this pile over here from the weekend since the post office was closed. Kind of see our messy. Two eBay. Two eBay? Yeah. So, and, yeah, we had one local pickup in our neighborhood, which was crazy. Um, Regina, I'll tell you more about that, but it was a Taylor Swift t shirt. Um, and I was like, this sold in Owasso. And we got look, looking at the address, and it was just around the corner from us, which that's the first time. We've had local sales before, but we still shipped them. This was so close that we just messaged them and Regina took it over there Saturday. Anyway, we've got a good batch of shipping going out, mostly eBay. Our sales have been slow, but our numbers are okay. So it's just a weird time of the year, I think. Um, hopefully you guys are having good sales and thanks for watching. If you don't mind, please subscribe. We're trying to build up our subscribers. We'll follow you back, subscribe back on you guys. We enjoy watching this content. So we just thought, thought we would kind of show what we are and follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Here's a better picture of all the stuff we have shipping out today. I think most of the priority mails and the Tyvex are posh, except for that one's mine. The rest of it's um, eBay, so pretty good little dose of shipping.